Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mia. So I'm basically just jumping right into things. I didn't really have time to do an intro because I was in a bit of a rush. But right now, as you can see, I'm filling in my brows using my Anastasia brow definer this time in dark brown. I usually use my brow pomade, but um, this time I felt like using my brow definer. And then from there, I began priming my eyes using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original just so I can set it before I start with my eyeshadow. So to start off, I'm mixing those two shades right there from my Juvia's Place palette. One is called Zulu and the other is Ada. And I'm just putting that up on my lids as a transition shade using my um, Luxie 205 brush. Once I'm finished with my transition shade, I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette. It's busted, as you can see, but I'm going to take that red shade. And I should have cut my crease before I put this red shade on. I was trying to go for an ombre effect, but later on you'll see I take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I begin to cut my crease. I highly recommend using a smaller concealer brush than the one that I used. This was my first time cutting my crease, so I was definitely new at it, but I think it turned out alright. And then I'm going to pack on that red shade right there on my lid. So then I'm going to mix these two orange shades. One is from the Juvia's Place palette. It is called Zulu. And the other it doesn't have a name, but it's from my Morphe 350 palette. I mixed them together and I put them right next to that deep red shade on the outer um, corner of my lids. And I just put it directly in the middle. And then from there you're going to see me take a beige shade from the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm going to put that right over the remaining area where the concealer is. To deepen up my eyes on the outer corner, I'm taking my Melt Dark Matter stack and the shade Dark Matter and I'm basically placing that in kind of like a V shape on the outer corner of my eye just to give it a little bit more depth. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure I don't have any harsh lines, I just grabbed my Luxie 205 brush again with no additional pigment and I'm just cleaning up the area that I hit with all those different colors and now I'm taking my NYX vinyl liquid liner and giving myself a wing. I did my lashes and my mascara off camera but I used my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and my lashes are Coco Lashes in the Style Queen Bee and now I'm taking my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is a really great primer in my opinion and I'm priming my face before um, taking a Morphe brush and blending out my foundation. I used the Hourglass foundation in the shade Golden Almond. For my concealer, I used my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Caramel and I just placed that all over the areas of my face I wanted to highlight before going in with a Real Technique sponge to blend it all out. From there, I grabbed my Fenty Beauty Powder in the shade Hazelnut and I set my face on a flat Vanity Planet brush just in the areas where I placed that concealer. And then I grabbed my all-time favorite, my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, which is also in the shade Hazelnut, and I took that on a Vanity Planet foundation brush and set the rest of my face. I'm using the new Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty on a Morphe brush. I can't think of the name. I think it's the M433 or 527. Ugh, I don't know. There's so many, so many numbers for it. And then I'm going in with blush. This is my e.l.f. So Rosy blush. I decided to mix two different highlighters. One is from Fenty Beauty and the other is from Becca. So I started with the Fenty Beauty highlighter. I can't think of the shade, but I'll put that down below. And then um, after placing that on top, I used the Champagne Pop highlighter from Becca just to give it a bit more of a glow. For my lower lash line, I just took the red shade that I placed on my upper lid just um, down below so I could just smoke it out. And then from there, I grabbed the shade Dahlia from my Juvia's Place palette and I placed that in my inner corner. I finished my eyes off camera but I used my Too Faced mascara again and my L'Oreal eyeliner and then for my lips I decided to go in with my NYX glosses in Fortune Cookie and Tiramisu before topping them off with another lipstick from NYX. I can't think of the name but I'll put that down below and then I set my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.